Hello everybody and welcome back to Vegas Virality. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the newest legendary recruit, Mackenzie. And as always, I'm going to take this time to shout out my favorite comment from the last video. My last video covered free tunes that I think need to become ascendable in the future. And Jerry Broman gave me a great comment. Survival Road Zeke definitely needs to become ascendable. He's one of the few epic characters that I still see used in teams in raid tournaments and in war so i think those people would definitely approve of him being ascendable and i think it would be a great move for scopely if they did so i think they'd make a lot of people happy all right so thanks again jerry for commenting let's get into the main part of this video now i'm very excited about this character i saw her in the new mackenzie roadmap event and she's insanely awesome she helped me out a lot I just wanted to use like a lower team in one of the missions just see how her specialist skill worked and how cool it was and it's so awesome so let's get to her her name is Mackenzie and I just want to start on her look I love her look right now she's got the whole uh, horse rider look going on I love it it's insanely awesome for how kind of simple and normal it seems for a zombie apocalypse I actually really like it it's simple yet it's so cool looking and it has blood on it I love it Mackenzie, you get an A plus from me on design. Her adrenaline rush, renew and remedy, 76 AP normal, which is you know the norm for legendary characters. This character and up to two other teammates regain 30% of their max HP for two turns. All teammates recover from all penalties. Now I love that recovering from all penalties. That's very useful in today's game, especially with stun guns and impair guns and all this other stuff and impair specialist skills and stun specialist skills. She can definitely come in handy. And her specialist skill is Retribution 2, which is also very cool. I've never had a Retribution character. I would love to have one just to see exactly how effective it is. So if you like the Retribution skill, let me know in the comments exactly how you think it helps. I get what it does, but I've never seen it in action. And I want to know if it really helps or if it's kind of just like a bust a specialist skill so her active skill is the draw for this character it is revive the very first revive active skill i've been speculating about this for a while now i thought the first was going to be the epic hunter that was recently revealed to be ascendable but it comes in the form of Mackenzie. so what does she do she revives one teammate at 35 percent of max hp so that is really cool it's four turns for cooldown you know that makes sense makes it harder it makes it longer for her to use it again so it's kind of like um, an easy way to balance that out so if it was like two turns like some active skills are it would be impossible to take this character down or your team down so I think this character for me is a boom she has 1400 attack not the best but she's not an attacker she has 1500 defense which you know it's kind of average it's kind of middle of the road it's not the best but her HP is pretty high, 1927. Although her stats aren't the greatest, I think behind a Erica lead and then you have a Human Shield Magna or something like that to run with her. And for her weapon, give her a big bulk to her defense and maybe a bonus to her HP or something like that. I think she could be very useful to anybody's team. I love this character. The Revive Active Skill is awesome. Using it in the roadmap, honestly, was really cool. I got to see it in action. Like I said, I kind of had one of my characters die on purpose just so I could see it. And let me tell you guys, it is awesome to have a legendary character that revives um revival characters have kind of become obsolete because you know if you see them in war you're going to target them and they're dead the first turn so having a revival legendary character would be is awesome so i think she would be great behind an erica lead and then maybe if you have a magna as well runner behind a team like that i think that would be great and then give her a cool weapon like a big boost to defense would be fantastic and then with the combat mods or something like that that's brand new you could give her an even bigger boost to defense so honestly i love this mackenzie from design from her specialist skill from her active skill from her adrenaline rush everything about her i love her so much um i'm not gonna be able to pull for her because you know money's tight as it always is um maybe if you guys can get me a bunch of views and i can get monetized again uh we could do more pulls like this in the future because I know people love watching pulls, but unfortunately, I'm just not the kind of guy that can spend money on this game. So I think that pretty much concludes our review of the newest legendary character, Mackenzie. I just want to talk about combat mods real quick. Um, they released today, and I kind of have a mixed kind of review of them. This is kind of game-changing in a way that hopefully these things are available through roadmaps as they have been right now hopefully there's not a chance for, for people who pay to play to buy them and be, get the greatest stuff just because they're willing to spend money and others aren't because i'm hoping that scopely made this so it kind of evens out the game for people who are less willing to spend money or who can't spend money 
and it's just a way to even out the game. I hope it's not going to be that Scopely made these combat mods so the people who pl pay to play get even further advanced from the other people. So uh, let me know what you guys think about combat mods as well in the comment section down below. So my questions of the day are, what do you think of Mackenzie? Do you think she's a boom or a bust? I think she's a boom. She doesn't have the greatest stats, but like I said, you run her behind Erica and with the human shield Magna, I think she could do you pretty well. Um, she'd be very annoying, that's for sure, especially when you have a revival Erica as well. And also let me know what you think of combat mods. They're pretty new, so there's not really much to go on right at the moment. So we'll see when everybody gets established and see how these combat mods affect the game. Hopefully, like I said, they keep them available on roadmaps and you can't pay to get greater, greater ones because that would that would just ruin the balance that Scopely has made with legendary characters. It's pretty balanced, although the coolest legendary characters, as expected, have to be bought. I think that making the legendary characters kind of balance out the game a little more. So let me know what your thoughts on those two questions are in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.